All right, guys, if you haven't seen yet, they buff the living crap out of all the melee skills. Like, boom, just everywhere, all of them. Anywhere from up to, like, three times more the damage to 1.2 times the damage. It's going to be crazy. And, like, this league, I don't even know what to play. They, they're, All these new gems are based on block and retaliation and... Basically, you know, you want to use these new gems. You want to play something that has a lot of block, like Gladiator or Guardian. And it's just a tough choice to make because these, yeah, they're all retaliation gems. And the three that uh, we got leaked out in the original release is a verse right here. This one does 1,345% of base damage, which is huge, 10 by 3.2 meters. And then we also have Swordstorm which is a dual wielding one that does 247% of base damage and that hits eight times, so roughly around 1500 damage. And the third retaliate that we got in the video was Divine Retribution. This one is 1700 to 2600 physical damage plus another 390% of your effective added damage, which is crazy. That's really big for spells. And this also has six bursts that cause four waves. I mean, this thing hits whole screen. We'll see here next, right? Right now, Chris uh, goes over these, and you can see them all in action. Um, they're great. I can't wait to use them. Have Eviscerate, which requires you to have a shield. Or for those who like to dual wield, Swordstorm, which is great for obliterating bosses. Here, we have the Divine Retribution skill. This one has the condition requiring you to block. You can then unleash a devastating spell, causing lightning bolts to strike the ground in an X shape around your target location, doing huge amounts of damage. All right, next one I'm gonna leak off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this skill is Crushing Fist. Same thing, retaliation, usable every two seconds when you block. Base radius is 2.8 meters. Retaliate against a block's hit by calling forth a huge armored fist to slam into the ground in front of you as you do the same, dealing weapon damage in an area. And that is 2,193% of weapon base damage. Absolutely huge. So like, all you gotta do is just go up to monster and you block them like this. So yeah, that skill's OP, right? That instantly killed him. All right, so next we have is uh, Vengeful Cry. This is a new war cry. Basically gives you three rage per second per five power, counting a maximum of 25 power. And it also prevents loss of rage. And this can only happen if you take a savage hit. Probably going to be some weird combos with this. I'm not too familiar with taking savage hits. But there's probably some gear that'll let you take all hits of savage hits, I'm assuming. And also we have this auto exertion. This one is going to be awesome. It's basically like blasphemy for uh, war cries. So you can basically, these are new changes to war cries where you can actually reserve mana and have the war cries automatically cast every time they run out. This is huge. Like this is going to make war cries so fun so you don't have to worry about casting them anymore this is one really great change to this league i think most builds will be using this all right now we have this glacial shield swipe it's basically you block and you blast out a wave with your shield uh base radius eight meters and it's 100 percent cold damage we do not have this yet we have not seen this yet and then puncture of shanking uh 437% of base damage, but base duration is 6 seconds and a 100% critical strike chance against bleeding enemies, and 69% more damage of bleeding and causes bleeding. So this looks like a really heavy hitting bleed attack that's probably going to be pretty popular in bleed builds this week. Okay, now let's go back down here to the support gems. We got Expert Retaliation Support. 
Supported retaliation skills become more usable for 39% longer. And supported skills have 88% more cooldown recovery rate. That This seems great, but like, you know, they got to be alive, you know, to keep triggering. If there's no monsters for you to block, you know, you can't cast again. But this will pretty much make it to where you can like constantly spam your uh, retaliations if you're getting attacked. And now they, they uh, also, they took increased duration and completely changed it to more duration so it went from like 50 percent increase to 49 percent more duration of skill effect okay next we have is overexertion report uh supported attacks deal 18 percent more damage for each war cry exerting them supported attacks deal 10 percent more damage if exerted supported attacks deal 20 percent increased damage if exerted so basically yeah if you're, if you're Using multiple war cries on a slam build, or even if you're just using auto exertion on a, like two or three war cries, this is going to be great for that because you're getting 18% for each one. So you can get up to like almost 60% with this with three war cries. And then rupture support. Uh, supported skills have 20% increased critical strike chance. Critical strikes with supported kills, uh, skills that inflict bleeding also inflict rupture. Targets take 29% more damage from bleeding per rupture on them from supported skills. Bleeding expires 25% more quickly per rupture from supported skills on them. So another uh, bleeding support gem. We'll see how this turns out. And they went ahead and if you're interested in all the new melee changes, they have them all released now here on this web page. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the info, but yeah, they're they're bringing it all in now. It's just crazy. Um, this is going to be a fun league, I think, for melee players. I just hope it's uh, man, it's just really hard to pick what you want to play, honestly. Okay, while we're now talking about these new gems, I want to kind of go into some things that are actually going to affect these builds. So. Dual wielding now inherently grants 20% chance to block and 10% more attack speed, which was previously 15. That's huge. They're, they're making dual wielding much better. You know, compared to your old tree, we had these dual wield nodes down here. They're just kind of mad, 5% block. Getting a huge buff to that. Dual wield blocking is going to be a thing now. So we've got 10% chance to block now while dual wielding. So they definitely buffed up some of the blocking damage nodes on the tree so that's that's great news like like blocking is going to be very easy to invest in now compared to before you're going to be able to yeah invest in the block much easier like all these block nodes it's great so i'm really looking forward to that a dual wheel blocking setup is going to be very possible and much easier to do now so that's great all right, too, with some of these support gems and uh, the actual puncture gem, which actually has to do with some bleeding. They're also adding in a little bit more bleeding right here. We just had this one wheel. They added more into bloodletting. We're actually going to get 10% chance to aggravate bleeding on targets you hit with attacks, which is going to make them take damage as if they were moving. And we also got another bleed wheel here with another 15, 15, and duration plus more damage with bleeding so they're they're adding a little more power into the bleeding so that's another really nice thing on the skill tree all right that wraps it up for this video i hope you learned something or enjoyed watching it uh just another quick thing too if you didn't know yet they actually restored veil pack to its former glory you now have instant leech for melee only and can't recover life from other than leech all right guys thanks for watching